This is the Isle of Man TT. Someone's ridden that bandit all the way from France. I've never ridden a bandit from France myself. And this is the most successful rider of the modern era, 40-year-old John McGuinness. A self-confessed bricklayer with bad teeth, he counts global superstars like MotoGP rider Valentino Rossi and Formula One racer Mark Webber amongst his biggest fans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mate, I'm so happy for you. We were given unprecedented access to this genuine legend during race week to find out what makes him tick. We're inside the race truck of John McGuinness. John, it's such a pleasure to meet you. And you. Now, let's have a look at your hands. Oh, Show me both well, hands. Yeah, that one. These are the hands of the fastest man on the Isle of Man TT. Fair size callus. It's the incredible acceleration from the bikes, you know, the 210 horsepower and, uh, you know, the 0 to 60 in two seconds. And, you know, they're, they're up to 100, 150, 180, knocking on the door 200 miles an hour so quick, you know, it's. Uh, they definitely uh, take some holding on to, and they're 165 kilos as well, so, you know, they're not the lightest things in the world. Uh, all right. Hello, mate. Cheers, pal. Yeah. The amazing thing about McGuinness is he's absolutely worshipped around here. He's the fastest man on the island, has been for some time. Whilst they're prepping his bike, we're doing an impromptu autograph session. This happens all day, every day, and, and bless him, he never turns people down. He is the most down-to-earth bloke you'll ever meet, but he is. In Formula One terms, he is, he is the Schumacher, you know, he is such a legend. Thanks. Cheers. Sir. Mind you, there aren't many legends who do their own car repairs. Your daily driver's a 911? Yeah, it is, yeah. But fortunately, I've, uh, I blew it up. Uh, You've blown I, it yeah, up? Yeah, I blew it, I blew it. I've, I've, I've fixed it now, I've put another engine in it, so I had to get, get on the spanners, but... A uh, oh, proper boom, then? Yeah, you know, you're never too old to learn, and... Uh, you know, next time, put oil in it, yeah. It's a simple thing. Ten quid of oil would have saved me... How many thousands? Six grand, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Silly boy. Let's go and talk about bikes. You're going to take me around and give me a tour of your, of your vehicles. Let's, Let's go. go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. So, obviously, this is the, this is, this is the main superbike. This is the bike that you've set the average speed record on. Am I correct? Yeah, this is the, the bike that holds the outright lap record around the Isle of Man at 131. Yeah. It's unbelievable to think that you've averaged 131. Yeah, 131.578, which is 17 minutes 12 around this 37 and three quarter mile track. Yeah, so this is my little guardian angel. This, this looks after me. Unusually, in a grid full of the latest machinery, John's trusty record holding fire blade is four years old. Bit of a creature of habit, you know. I go to Chinese and I'll have beef curry and fried rice every time, so I actually like. Uh, I quite like the fact that it's something I'm really familiar with and it's something I'm really confident with and, uh, you know, I can, I can jump on it and give gas straight away, you know, I'm not uh, worried about anything. I know how it's going to react and, you know, every manhole, every bump, every jump, every time we take off, off the ground, I know where it's going to go and how it's going to feel. Another McGuinness weapon is his Superstock Fireblade. Superstock is essentially a class made up of standard road bikes like the ones you or I can buy for 10 grand from a high street dealer. And the lap record for these is 130.7, which is stunning, you know. So it's it's a, less than one mile an yeah, hour? less than one mile an compared hour. Compared to that? Than spending 100 grand and using slick tyres and having another 40 horsepower, you know, so. It's uh, insane. Can I ride myself, it? Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. I have got a bike <laughs> licence, but I don't ride very much, I'll be honest. <laughs> Come on, get your backside across a bit. That's it. Across? That's it. That's okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You look a bit awkward, but you're getting there. Toes Seriously, on the pegs. I'd be clenching like there's no tomorrow. I really would be clenching hard. Yeah. Oh, you're even wiping my area. <laughs> there was one last part of McGuinness I wanted to see. It feels a little bit small. His famous quarter of a million pound motorhome. Father Christmas didn't drop it down the chimney one day. I worked hard over a lot of, a lot of years, ended up having a camper like this. What about the plate? John McGuinness IOM TT, nice plate that. 400 oh. quid off the EVLA, job's a dream. Really? Yeah. That's brilliant. No. When it's sunny, we can always watch a bit of sky outside, listen to the radio, you know. Is this better than your house? Uh, it costs more than my house, yeah. <laughs> Shoes off. Shoes off. The hot seat's behind you there, the driving seat. It's uh, fully automatic. 8.9? It's an 8.9, yeah, Cummins engineer, yeah. So it's, uh, it's not the most economical thing in the world. The computer says 6.5 miles to the gallon, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a greedy old pig, but uh, 
Like so you're just going to keep putting the fuel in and not look at the, uh, yeah, so not look at the gauge. <laughs> what, what is the, what, how much is it to brim it? Uh, it's about just neck end of a thousand quid to fill it up. A thousand, thousand quid. pounds, yeah, yeah, which is, uh, <laughs> it's insane, really. That's bigger than the fridge I've got in my house. Yeah, it's the racer's diet fridge. That's oh, brilliant. What's that, vodka and strawberries? Bed's huge. You can put a percentage of pressure in each side of the mattress. My side's at 35. You've got a tire pressure gauge for yes, the bed. Yes. Thanks for showing me around. No worries. And that's the life of a legend in a nutshell. It was a vintage year for McGuinness. Even though the main race I hoped to watch was rained off for the first time in 105 years, forcing the teams to pack up. Earlier in the week, John had won his first ever Superstock title on a standard fire blade and then beat off Australian Cameron Donald and fans' favourite Guy Martin to win the Superbike race by an amazing 15 seconds. It took his TT winning total to an incredible 19 races. But as he becomes ever more godlike, he stays even more down to earth. Some people are seemingly put on this earth with supernatural powers. Today I met a guy who loves nothing more than a large mug of tea and a chat about Hillman Avengers. And that same bloke just happens to be the person who can ride a motorcycle around this island, the Isle of Man, faster than anybody else. In fact, he's won 19 races here. They say you should never ever meet your hero, but in the case of John McGuinness, I think that's totally untrue.